Hey, welcome back everyone. So as most of you probably know, I love to make money off of the auction house. So we're going to do some speculating right now on some future investments because I know a lot of players have been actually talking about how everything has been decreasing except for Apex. Well, that is just blatantly wrong. Um, but first, the big matter at hand is that the credit card fraud or the bots uh, are doing something, again, to manipulate and get tons and tons of credit. Probably, like I said, credit card fraud where they get hacked into someone's account, steal the account, use the account to buy a shitload of credits, and then just start flooding the auction house with, you can see, stacks of 100 worker compensation potions. So, they are driving the prices back down, insanely cheap, 480 right now for a stack, uh, or, you know, 480 gold, so 4 gold and 80 silver per each labor potion right now on the auction house, and this is actually universal on the forums. Um, almost all the auction house clusters are appearing to have a huge supply of workers' compensations coming into the game and flooding onto the auction house in stacks of 100, stacks of 20, stacks of 10, stacks of 50. So that has been reported. And what that means, like I said, is most likely that credit card fraud is back, and so all of the cash shop items will be taking a dive. Um, what that means is that you can actually have some great buying opportunities. Right now, if you wanted to, uh, buying 100 workers' compensation at 480 is a pretty good investment because... Once this cleans up, it's going to go back up to 6 or 7 gold again. So you're going to make almost double your money on this. It could take a few days. It could take a week or so. Uh, but when if, if this is credit card fraud, Tryon is going to get on it fairly quickly because they are losing a lot of money. And that's what matters the most to Tryon is the money. So with that at hand, that's going to throw a lot of the other items into uh, kind of disarray. But here is an item that has steadily grown in price over the last week or so. These things used to be around 10 silver each, and now they're up to 40 silver right now. And they're probably going to steadily keep growing as well. They're actually a little bit higher. They're, there's one at 40, and the others are at 45 approximately. And you can see there's not too many supply because this is a item that you cannot actually harvest and grow yourself. Um, you can find the seedlings out in the wild. They're randomly growing out in the wild. And so you find them and you get a seedling. You can't actually go to the NPC and buy these. So once you get the seedling, you have to actually plant it and grow it. And it takes a whole like 26 hours to grow. So again, it's called club head fungus. And this is a great item to actually look for out in the wild or also just to buy and hold uh, because it will be rising in value and the reason it's going to rise in value is that it's used for the high-end potions. It's used for the ancient library relic, the one that increases your magic defense by 2400 and then it's also used for the physical defense version of that as well and this one raises again 2400 for physical defense so it takes two of those funguses to make one of these guys, plus some other mats. So, and these guys are in very high demand, and they do sell fairly expensively. So that is why the club had fungus. So for short, I always just go fungus. Um, you know, that right there. Even though it may look high, it probably will grow into around like the 60 or 75 range. And that I would say probably that's where it's going to lay stay around because otherwise the potion price is just going to get really ridiculous. Another item that was on a huge surge in price and now should actually be coming down in price because of the credit card fraud is these red regrade charms. So you'll notice that these things are now selling for like 24, 25 gold each. If you remember way back in the beginning of the game, these things were like 5 gold or 3 gold. They were really cheap and they slowly steadily started growing in price and now have jumped all the way up to around 25 gold and these things will continue to keep increasing in price as more players reach end game at level 50 and start trying to upgrade their gear um, these things are a godsend 100 percent increase on the chance it doesn't give you a guarantee to actually upgrade your 
you know, your gear, but it does help out a lot. And when you are trying to upgrade a gear with a regrade scroll, those things are expensive. And that's another thing that we're going to talk about right now. The regrade scrolls have been shooting up in price as well. Uh, the accessory regrade scroll and the armor regrade scroll and the weapon regrade scroll are probably going to be dropping a little bit because they do come out of the cash shop as well. They come out of the Archeum supply crates. These guys right over here. And if my memory serves me correct, they also have a chance to come out of the limited edition uh, you know, crates as well. I may be wrong on that. But yeah, so they definitely come out of the cash shop. And so if there is credit card fraud going on, these guys are going to start opening these up, selling them, and reaping the profits there. But yeah, all the regrade charms, all these items have been steadily rising in price. Except for the blue and like the green regrade charms, they've been staying roughly you know, around about a gold each on this server. The big thing that has jumped up tremendously has been the yellow regrade charms. These ones are very, very expensive on the cash shop. They're like 600 credits or the superior one is 2,000 credits if I, if I remember correctly. And these things have jumped up a lot. Um, the prices on these things, you know, will probably stay around there a 10 or 11 for a 600 credit item. And then the superior one will probably end up being like 20 or 30. But yeah, so regrade charms are a great item. Um, you know, the red regrade charms specifically are a great item to actually buy. And you're going to see an increase in value, like almost guaranteed. But you'll notice we haven't seen any armor regrade scrolls at all, and we just got up to the weapon regrade scrolls. These guys have increased in price slowly but surely as well. The weapon regrade scrolls and the armor regrade scrolls are going up as more people again get to level 50. They want to upgrade their gear, and this is how you do it. You need these scrolls. So we'll take a look, and the most shocking one is the armor regrade scroll. The armor regrade scroll was always the cheaper one, uh, always like half the price of the weapon regrade scroll, and now you can see they're exactly the same, and they sell really, really quickly. So those are things to keep an eye on. Those will also be increasing in price. You might see a slight dip now because again, these come from the Archeum supply crates. Uh, there's a chance to get those. So the supply could be greater and the price could be driven down just a little bit, but these are great things to invest in. They are going to increase. For anyone that played Alpha, you will remember that these guys, the ar armor regrade scrolls, were roughly around 60 gold a pop. And then the weapon regrade scrolls were around, around 120 gold a pop on the Alpha server. So you can see there's great room for growth there. Um, and unfortunately, I think it's going to be a little bit different in the actual live servers because the armor is used for seven pieces of gear. We don't have the Hasla Tier 2 or Tier 3. And the Tier 3, if I remember correctly, could actually be regraded up. So right now, you cannot currently regrade up Tier 1 Hasla weapons. So most people aren't going to be regrading any weapons because they have the Hasla weapons and they're not going to be regrading. So the weapons have a great room for growth once the tier 3 Hasla weapons come out or the level 55 weapons come out and people start acquiring those. Right now, everyone has gear, armor, and they want to upgrade it. So you're seeing a surge in these guys. The next thing is a component to actually make those regrade scrolls. So these come out of the coin purses. They also come out of the Archeum supply crates as well, the cash shop. So they could be seeing a slight decline in the next couple days or weeks. But they will be going way back up again. Because again, this right here, this moon point, makes the armor regrade scroll. So one moon point and one um, regrade scroll, which is only about two gold to make, actually makes the armor regrade scroll. Or if you take the sun points, which is the weapon version of it, you take the sun point and you take the regrade scroll and you actually make a weapon regrade scroll so this is how you actually craft your own regrade scrolls here and these things are going to be increasing in price because again in alpha these things costed 60 to 80 gold you know approximately each these things are very very expensive they are very very rare out of the coin purses 
you can open them up about like 500 to 1,000 coin purses and might get one of these guys. So that's a lot of coin purses. That's like 5,000 labor and coin purses to get one of these guys. And you can see the only reason there's so many on the auction house right now is because they do come out of the Archeum supply crates. One last item that actually will be increasing in price not as dramatically as all the other ones. This is more of a limited supply, going to increase in price, but slowly but surely. It's called pepper. It's just the basic pepper. And the reason this is going to increase in price is because this is a wild herb or plant that you cannot actually you know, buy seeds for and plant out in the world. You have to find this thing in the wild and you know, it's used for level, I believe, level 50 uh, in-game crafting gear, weapons, and armors. So you need this for the pigments to, to, you know, create those armors and gear. So once people get all the way up there to the level 50 gear and start crafting the best of the best, this stuff will be going up. So right now it is approximately around 10 silver for a few of them. To craft one of those pigments, you do need five of these peppers. So they do jump up in price fairly quickly. And you can see there is not that many on there. There's a stack of 100 here, surprisingly. And so you may be wondering exactly how to get them. They come from this seed right here, the black pepper seed. This is where these pepper come from. So if you ever have a black pepper seed in your inventory, it's going to end up turning into a pepper once you actually plant it and harvest. And it tells you right down there it's acquired from wild harvests. So those are all these speculative and items that are pretty much guaranteed to go up in value. So if you want to invest in any of those items, you're gonna have some um, you know some money making items there in the future and it's just gonna grow over time. All those items again are gonna grow. Uh, the pepper probably will be one of the smallest growth ones. But you can see it has a lot of room to grow. It's only at like 10 or 15 silver. So even if it jumps up to like 50 or 60 silver per pepper, that's already a four times increase right there. If you guys have any other uh, you know, ideas and items that may be increasing in value that I missed, drop them down in the comments. I know there are a few others that I didn't touch on, but this is getting a little long, so I want to cut it short. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.